Before you book that dream European vacation, watch this video to avoid falling into the biggest tourist traps that cost travelers time, money, and patience. If you're not careful, you could end up missing out on authentic experiences, and the last one on this list could actually ruin your entire trip. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Number one, dressing like a tourist and standing out. One of the quickest ways to draw unwanted attention, or even overpay for things, is by dressing in a way that screams tourist. Fanny packs, oversized backpacks, and even certain clothing styles can make you an easy target for street vendors, scammers, or pickpockets. While it's tempting to prioritize comfort, dressing more like the locals can help you blend in and have a more authentic experience. Research the local style of your destination. In many European cities, locals tend to dress smartly, even for casual outings. You don't need to go overboard, but looking polished can help you avoid standing out and being treated like a clueless visitor. Now that you know how to look the part, let's make sure you don't fall for this next mistake and save money. Number two, overpriced currency exchange at airports and hotels. It's tempting to exchange your dollars for euros or pounds as soon as you land, but airport currency exchanges and hotel kiosks are notorious for their terrible rates and hidden fees. You think you're getting convenience, but what you're really doing is losing a significant portion of your budget right from the start. Instead, use an ATM once you arrive, as they tend to offer much better rates. Just make sure your bank doesn't charge excessive foreign transaction fees. Better yet, Notify your bank before you travel and inquire about partnerships they may have with European banks to avoid any surprise charges. Now that you've safeguarded your cash, let's make sure you don't blow it all on the next big mistake. Number three, dining in tourist zones. When you're in the heart of Rome, Paris, or Barcelona, it's easy to stop at the first cafe you see near a famous landmark. But these places are tourist magnets for a reason and you'll pay for the view with mediocre food and inflated prices. The menus might even be in English, which is a dead giveaway that it's more about the tourist dollar than the local experience. To avoid this trap, venture a few streets away from the main attractions. Go where the locals eat. A small side street restaurant is more likely to offer authentic cuisine at a fraction of the price. Pro tip, if the menu is only in the local language, you're probably in the right place. With your dining sorted, let's talk about the next mistake that could derail your budget even further. Number four, falling for skip the line scams at major attractions. Yes, Europe is home to some of the most iconic landmarks in the world, like the Eiffel Tower, the Colosseum, and the Vatican. And yes, the lines can be insanely long, but don't be fooled by shady street vendors selling skip the line tickets at inflated prices. Many of these are either scams or hugely overpriced compared to official tickets. Instead, book your tickets online through the official website before you go. Many attractions offer legitimate skip the line options or early morning tours that allow you to avoid the worst of the crowds. Plan ahead and don't get sucked into spending double or worse, ending up with a fake ticket. While you're dodging scammers at tourist hotspots, there's another subtle trap waiting for you on Europe's famous shopping streets. Number five, shopping in souvenir shops near major landmarks. Who doesn't want a little memento from their trip? But if you're buying souvenirs right next to the Louvre or the Colosseum, you're paying way more than necessary for items that are mass produced and often of lower quality. Those handcrafted trinkets, probably made in a factory far from Europe, for better quality and prices, visit local markets or stores away from tourist-heavy areas. You'll not only find unique, handmade items, but also support local artisans. Plus, you'll have a great story behind every item you bring home. As much as shopping in Europe can be a trap, sometimes the biggest mistakes come when you're trying to save money. Let's look at the next pitfall. Number six, overbooking cheap airlines without checking extra fees. Budget airlines like Ryanair and EasyJet can seem like a steal when you see flights for as little as $20. But beware, the low fare comes with a catch. These airlines are notorious for sneaking in additional fees for baggage, seat selection, and even printing your boarding pass at the airport. 
By the time all the extras are added up, that $20 flight might cost as much as a regular airline ticket. Always read the fine print. Make sure you know the baggage allowances and bring your own snacks, as onboard purchases are also overpriced. Sometimes, taking a train or bus within Europe can be a cheaper and more comfortable alternative, especially for shorter distances. Flying isn't the only area where tourists can end up paying more than they should. Let's move on to the next mistake that could lead to major frustration. Number seven, ignoring local public transport options. Many American travelers are used to renting cars when they travel domestically. But in Europe, public transportation is often a much better option. Renting a car in cities like Paris, Rome, or London not only racks up high rental fees, but also leads to stress with narrow streets, expensive parking, and the dreaded local driving habits. Instead, embrace Europe's excellent public transport systems. Metro systems, buses, and trams are clean, efficient, and often much cheaper than renting a car. For intercity travel, high-speed trains offer a relaxing and scenic way to get from one country to another. No driving required. Now that we've saved you the hassle of car rentals, let's focus on one of the biggest mistakes tourists make when it comes to getting around cities. Number eight, getting overcharged by taxis and rideshares. Hailing a taxi might seem like the easiest option, especially after a long flight or a day of sightseeing. But in many European cities, taxi drivers are known for overcharging tourists. Whether they take longer routes, avoid using the meter, or flat out charge inflated rates, you could end up paying double the price of a normal ride. To avoid this, use ride sharing apps like Uber or local alternatives such as Bolt, which offer clear pricing upfront. If you must take a taxi, insist on the meter being used or negotiate the price before the ride starts. Speaking of getting around, here's a common mistake that could add unnecessary stress to your journey. Number nine, misreading train or bus timetables. Europe's train and bus systems are excellent for getting around, but they can also be confusing for first time travelers. Many Americans are unfamiliar with the 24 hour clock also known as military time, used across Europe leading to missed trains or buses. Additionally, many public transport systems require you to validate your ticket before boarding, a mistake that can result in hefty fines if overlooked. Make sure to double check the time format and validate your ticket at the machines located at stations. It's a small detail, but it can save you from unnecessary headaches and keep your travels smooth. Now that you've mastered the art of reading timetables and avoiding travel mishaps, there's one more mistake that can easily derail your trip, trying to squeeze too many destinations into a short itinerary. Number 10, trying to see too much in one trip. Europe is vast, diverse, and filled with bucket list destinations, but trying to cram too many cities into one trip can quickly turn your dream vacation into an exhausting whirlwind. Americans often underestimate travel times between destinations or overestimate how much they can see in a single day. The result? You spend more time rushing between places than actually enjoying them. Instead of trying to visit five countries in a week, focus on one or two regions. Take the time to savor the local culture, food, and experiences. A slower pace not only reduces stress, but also lets you truly connect with the places you visit. There you have it. 10 tourist traps that every American should avoid on their European adventure. Whether it's overpriced meals or sneaky airline fees, a little planning goes a long way in making your trip unforgettable for all the right reasons. And remember, the goal isn't just to see Europe, but to experience it authentically. Now go book those tickets with confidence and enjoy the journey. If you found these tips helpful, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel advice. Let me know in the comments which trap you're most surprised by or if you've fallen for any of these before. Safe travels and see you in the next video.